Hi there, hi there, and hi there. Hello, I'm Jasmine again, and today I want to talk about TCP. TCP is a shortened word for Transmission Control Protocol that's a core protocol of the Internet Protocol Suite. What it does is that it transmits data, so it has connection process before it sends or receives the data. The process is called socket connection. Among the process, we can mention about TCP server and TCP client. TCP server waits until TCP client tries to make connection, so in able to make TCP connection, there needs to be at least one or more client. Okay, let's briefly go over how PHPOC products are working with the protocol. PHPOC products provide both TCP server and TCP client function. In other words, it can work it as TCP server or TCP client. So we can just choose from both between on our various systems. For example, PHPOC Blue supports up to five TCP connections at once, at once, at once. If you've seen my video a lot, you know what I'm going to do now. I will now go over a source code about TCP Echo Server. You might know, but to briefly explain about Echo Server, it receives data from client and send the data back to the client. Usually, we use this Echo Server to test client. All right, let's go for the source code. Okay, let's first include TCP library and let's set zero TCP server to a port number 1470 when the server waits for connection. This RW buff is a variable to save sending and receiving data. And let's set infinite loop because we're going to test the client and open the loop. The data from client will be read, then will be saved in the variable. Then if there is data coming in from the client, server will send save data to the client and close the loop. All right, and that was it. Feel free to share your PHPOC source code or ask us any question in our PHPOC forum. Have a good day and see you later.